Hello, Austin, Texas. We are headed to hook up with Cousin Lance. It's been a few years since we've uh, been down in here hunting these exotics. Uh, my cousin Lance Clawson called me. He found a new ranch. It's called the Rio Torello Ranch. I tell you what, he had a home run. Get ready. to the outdoors. This segment is brought to you by Downwind Sense. What's up, Chad? Oh. How you doing, man? Hey, good. good. How are you, you sir? Good, good to see you, Mario. Mario Fernandez. Uh, Mario. Well, yeah. let's get down there and go look around. Y'all ready go. to get yeah, to the ranch? Let's, let's, uh, um, how far are we? I'm out here with a sportsman in North America. We're in the beautiful hill country, hunting exotics. We're hunting axis deer specifically. Um, exotics in Texas are special to me. I'm from Texas. Um, we have a number of exotics in the hill country. I really love the axis deer. Awesome animal. They're in the rut. Look how these bucks are with all these does. Man, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, I've never hunted the axis while they're in the rut. We're in June right now. It's hot here, but this is when the time to hunt. It's, get, it's gonna be exciting, folks. Stick around. We're deer hunting in the summer. Keith will say, um, where it's in the middle of June, look at what we're doing, we're hunting in shorts. Um, but for these big axis bucks and some of these other exotics where they're not in their native land, uh, this is the prime rut. We're right, actually right in the beginning of the prime rut. It's very similar to South Texas whitetails around Christmas time. I mean, we're right in the, uh, in the rut and they are getting after it. This is absolutely gorgeous in here. It, it's unbelievable. Check it out. Big draws and grass hills and all these oaks and stuff on it. Wow, animals everywhere. There's a whole bunch of them up here, a whole bunch. We're gonna get here on top and look back at them. That's so cool. Tiffy, right there. Come on, get them. That's what we're after, folks, right there. All these axis deer, that's awesome. What do y'all think, boys? What do you think, how was that drive? Where are all the deer? <laughs> Isn't this cool? There's a shooter right down there. Yeah, man. <laughs> this Woo. is cool, man. This is awesome. I'll tell you what, this is some of the most beautiful parts of Texas God. you can't imagine I until just, you see this it. This place is just unbelievable. It is, and it's just incredible. We pull in to the ranch, and we are 100 yards from the camp. I can see the houses, and I'm sitting there looking at the creek, and I stop, and we've got a world-class axis right here 100 yards out of camp. And so we're like, oh, I mean, those are right there. I know. I know. Well, I got like stock action right I mean, there. just throw your shirt on and go kill one. <laughs> I he, don't know. He was I, 30. I'll bet it's not gonna be that easy. He was 30. <laughs> yeah and it was on. It's like, let's get unloaded, get this stuff off, get our crossbows, get some gear on. Make sure we're on. Come and get me. This may not take very long at all. I know two bucks right there just saying. Come and get me. Ready. What do you want me to do here? You want to you want to put a stalk on one of these yeah, bad boys? Yeah, yeah, I mean, let's go take a look. Let's. I mean, they're right there. Yeah. And I mean, these are nice bucks. <laughs> we we get out again, jump out, and record time. We've got our stuff together, and here we go. And Lance goes one way down the down the hill, and I go the other way down the hill, and down the creek or down the draw right here. Just actually down the road right here where we drove in on. And we probably got, I'd say, 60, 70 yards um, from, a, from that really good buck. There's a couple of good bucks right down here. I think they're mark working their way this way. Big one in the front. No, I'm taking the one in the back. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
I would have definitely taken the shot. We spooked the animal. Actually, we didn't spook him near as much as we spooked all the other ones around him. Um, there's never just one, it seems like. And so here he goes, kind of meandering off down the trail, back down into the creek. So we hightail it up the road a little more and try to cut him off, and, and uh, things just didn't work out for us. But that was, we weren't here, we, we weren't here at all. We were here 30 seconds, and, and we're putting a stalk on a, on a big axis buck. Well, hey, what a, what, a, what a way to arrive. You pull in, you got animals, you undress, get your equipment, get out there and start hunting immediately. It just set the pace for the whole trip. We were ready to go. Looks like these two Texas boys have landed in a hill country oasis with no shortage of great axis deer. And Keith and Lance have their game faces on. We'll see what the morning has in store when we come back, so stick around. Sportsman of North America is brought to you by Timber Tall Tree Stands, Hard Rifles, Hunter's Safety System, MyPatriotSupply.com, Kicking Bear, Sportsman's Hunting Gear, Setlock, Boss Buck, Downwind Sense, Gordo's Cheese Dip, Diamond Archery, Gaddis and Gaddis, and Can Cooker. We are the only online hunting community that gives away a free hunt every week. It's only a mouse click away to sign up at www.sportsmanna.com. And while you're there, get a free subscription to our online magazine, The Outpost. Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Boss Buck. It's a new day and the guys are ready to go. Lance has a plan in mind for this first morning, but a big axis buck forces him to call an audible on his way to the stand. Let's just see how this works out. I'll take that deer any day. I know they're great. Let's get out and see if we can get up on him. Okay, let's go. Man, look at get him. Look at look at that buck. And I'm just like, I'm going after this is the one I want. And and I tell Chad, I say, look, Chad, this is uh this is a great buck. He's what we're looking for all the way around. Let's set up on this deer, forget the stand. Let's, let's set up on this deer right now. So Chad and I get a, a quick makeshift ground together, and uh, but we get a great setup, and we're ready. If that deer comes anywhere in the area, um, I'm set up, I'm nice and calm, I am shoot out to about 70 yards, and, and we're in good shape. All of a sudden, we catch movement to our left. No, oh, that's not him, that's him. Oh. oh, man. I knew it wasn't our buck, because our buck was you know, 150 yards, straight uphill. Uh, he, we pushed him back up in the brush, but he was he was definitely going to come 32. back, but we felt like he was. Chad, where are they going over here? But we pass on him because we've got a special buck in the area, and it's our first morning, and we are bound and determined to set up on this buck, and that's what we do. Let's pick up our chairs and go put them up on the road and just put a stalk on them and see if we can do something because we're not going to be able to get up on them. They're not coming this way. And we're, we're working our way down this draw, and I can't help it. About every, you know, we, we made it about 100, 150 yards. I ease up, try to find him again. That big buck's up here about 150 yards. He just went back to feeding, and we've got this draw right here. I think we can ease up on him up on this draw, if nothing else. Set up and watch him and see where he's going. I work my way just right up over the ledge again, and I'm like,
30 more seconds and it would have been over with. It had been over with. We wouldn't have been able to get him. This one, uh, the good, we heard you guys coming. He's all right. He's got it all, though. He's wide. Well, you'll see him. He's wide. He's, He's got huge caudal times. I don't like, I like skinny. I, I know like you do. Here it is, right here. Oh, yeah, I think we almost drove over. Hey, hey, that was not hard to find. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That was not hard to find at all. That's kind of a cool Isn't picture. Isn't that though, awesome? Man. Look at that. Yeah, 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 that's cool. That's pretty. Look at that, guys. How cool is that? Ugh. It's an old buck. It's a great buck. Ah, goodness gracious. Woo! Axis deer, crossbow, Texas hill country. What a great, bro. what a great hunt that was. I mean, the, well, we still everything about it. Too. I know, we're gonna get you one now. Look at this big mature rascal. Woo! It was cool, wonderful, you, wonderful That's feeling. Um, one of the best deer I've ever killed. Lance's gamble has paid off in full, and now he plans to help his cousin Keith anchor a giant of his own. Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Can Cooker. Keith Powell is no stranger to the Texas Hill Country, or hunting axis deer. And with Lance's buck on the ground and plenty of time ahead, Keith's got his stalking shoes on, and he's ready to go. Now it's Keith's turn. So we went out driving around, looking around. We're doing everything we should be doing for Keith to have the, the opportunity at a, at a great buck. We came up on two or three really nice axis buck, and they were right in this timber. And they was 50 yards, maybe 75 yards. So I get up, start making a stalk, and Chad's with me, and we're getting closer. We're getting closer and closer. And I can see this animal in but it, it knows it's hidden. It, it knows it's in so such thick stuff that I couldn't get an air in there if I wanted to. There's a giant in there. And Chad's over my shoulder and they've actually got us spotted because I had to step out in the open and they've actually got us pinned. He's heavy. I bet he's 34 inches. Is that the one that's looking at? No, he's the one behind the tree. He's looking through the camera. He sees the other two bucks that are there, that are great deer, but he doesn't see daddy. Why do you see this one back there? He's a monster. They know we're here though. Finally, daddy steps out behind a tree and Chad finally gets a glimpse of what's driving me crazy. There's that big one. This animal was huge. This animal was, it just, when you see, when you see a buck that is that big, you immediately know there's no questions asked. And once I saw that animal, I was ruined. It was, it was, I wanted that animal. And when you set out to hunt a animal, sometimes you get in trouble because sometimes that animal doesn't like to get hunted and he disappears and you go home empty handed. And it was really a good little meadow for me to set up in with a makeshift blind. Folks, we got us a monster. So we're making a makeshift ground blind. We're gonna try to set up on this sucker and see if we can get some luck on our side and get a shot at him. I had my sights set on this buck and I was just gonna wait him out. Until the next morning rolls around, I'm excited about the opportunity to get in there and, and get back after this big buck. And Here we go. It's a beautiful morning second morning of the hunt and uh, the weather feels wonderful the axis bucks are blowing everywhere okay we're in here Ooh, we saw that monster i like that term monster i don't know why i use it but he was big so hopefully we'll get a shot at him being 32 yards from a big mature trophy axis buck with my crossbow is exciting but I want to tell you what was more exciting was to see him and another buck get in one of the most vicious, awesome fights that I've ever seen. Two axis bucks just went after it. I mean after That was awesome. I can still see one down there. That's the kind of stuff that you get to experience by just sitting out there, being in nature, watching nature, being a part of it. We call in the group, say, come get us, you know, we're gonna, we give up, we raise the flag and, and uh, but the good thing about 
what's going on is that we can hunt all day. And so we make a game plan to go put the bow up, go get the old heart rifle and grab something to eat. And we're gonna, we're gonna go come back where we think we saw those, that group of animals disappear in this big canyon. We're gonna circle back around after lunch and come back on top of them where we can look back in this canyon. Keith has made the decision to go all in after one particular buck. The clock is ticking down on his hunt, but it's not over yet. We're back and Keith Powell has targeted an absolute giant axis buck. The clock is ticking down and he's decided to go all in after this monster. We're on this side. And all these deer, right, we're on a bluff. And these deer can't come up here, so they're all being pushed over here. There's a big creek. And there's a big bluff over here. And I just range. He's 478 yards from where I'm at. So we're going to go across over there and try to shoot back this way, because we can see better from over there. So that's what we're going to do. He's uh, uh. There. Gone. There's another big one. There's your big one right here to the right, too. That's not the big one that just went That is, that's the, that's the bigger one, isn't it? No, no. Not? It's the bigger one just went in. But we'll probably be able to see him through this clear now. No, that's the, okay. As luck would have it, and having a good, um, I good guy like my cousin Lance and Chris, uh, we located the group. And what was fun about this was they were moving. They were moving a lot. And because we were in one side of the canyon and they were on the other, we kept having to pick little pockets that we could see into and I could shoot through. We're on the side of that hill over there, walking up. I got them in the trees. Okay, where? They're, they're gonna, that where? doe's coming in. They're gonna come out right up here. Get up here, get up here, get ready, get up, get up here. Is that opening right that here? big opening where that road, almost looks like a road going yep, up there. Yep, yep, okay. There's a, there's kind of a little angled open spot right on top. I want us to be ready for that spot right there. Okay, I gotta arrange it. What is it? I got 400 on the money. Yep, 400. Five clicks. 400 exactly. Five clicks. Here they come. You see them? I see them. They're headed to that open spot. There they, they are. Come, here they come, here they come. Here comes another one. Yeah. Little guy. There's a big one. There's a big one right there. Here's eight good and. Shoot him? I think so. Uh, oh, my dad gun bolt. My dad gun bolt. Crap. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He's gone, Got him. Are you sure? I heard a kitty I heard a kitty. Got him. Got Good him. Shot. Good shot. Good yeah. shot. Good shot. You see him? Where you going? Okay. Big axis. I mean, we're here in the Texas Hill Country chasing these axis deer. And that was a big chest. Yeah, yeah, baby. Woo! <sighs> Why do you keep your bolt open again? <laughs> I keep my bolt open because when we're running around, it's a safety. But you got to, like a dummy, you got to remember that it's open when you get ready to shoot. <laughs> Holy crap. That almost cost me that buck. I feel good about that shot. <sighs> Whoo! I tell you, this is a lot steeper than it looks. We were on the other side of this canyon, this big draw here, and this is a lot steeper than it looks. Here, guys, I got him. Over you, here. you got him over here? Got him. Got him, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Is he down? Yeah. Ah! Ha! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Woo! That's awesome. Look at that guy. Look at he's. Look at he hit right here. You can see the really? blood. Yep. Monster. Heavy, the coddle tie, everything, even the tines are heavy. The coddle tie. That's a good front on him. Very good. That's a great buck right there. Monster. That's one of the biggest ones we've seen this entire trip. Yeah. Uh, that that may, that's the biggest one I've seen the entire trip. I, I think the one we saw the other morning was bigger, but I mean, you know, what are you splitting hairs? I think. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know, but God. This, is got, this guy's got it all. I don't know what the other. This guy has the brow tine spread, main beams, coddle tie. That is a great, great buck. You need to check out Sports in North America. We give away hunts just like this every week. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this could be you right here behind a big giant trophy, 35 inch axis. He ended up being a little over 35 inches, the biggest one I've ever taken. 
He was a monster. Lance was right. Chris was right. I still think the other one's bigger, but it's okay. What a, what a hunt. And what a place. What a ranch to go out in a few days, have the opportunity to just be around that many big bucks, much less get the opportunity to harvest one like that. You know, ranches like this are, are very special, and, and Texas is a, uh, mainly private ranches. And Chris Saunders and, uh, and Adger Satterfield have one of the one of the nicest places I've ever been. Um, they've done a great job. Chris has just done a phenomenal job of managing this place. It's like it's been managed for 10 years. And, uh, and the improvements Mr. Satterfield has got has put on this place, unbelievable. Um, the swimming holes, the homes, just the work all around. Um, he's done an incredible job. And, and this is one of those places that is a no-brainer. I would come back here year after year after year. Hunting these animals in the middle of the summer in Texas Hill Country is, is awesome. That's all I can say. Thanks for watching Sportsman of North America. Go to www.sportsmanna.com to catch all the episodes you missed. Don't forget, Sportsman of North America Hunt Club gives away a free hunt each and every week for an online social community for hunting and outdoors where you can meet other hunters and share photos, videos, and hunting tips. Sportsmanna.com is the new destination for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. We're changing lives one hunt at a time. Closed captioning is brought to you by Hunter Safety System. Saving lives is what we do. This has been a Sportsman Video Production.